Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Evelyn. Oof. Okay. Okay, well that was kind of messy. Guys, before I started this video, I lost my wallet, so I was like breaking out. Um, so if I'm a little bit on edge, it's because I'm kind of coming down from my can't find my wallet freak out. But yeah, so today is gonna be a different type of video um if you all know well if you didn't know now you know i am super into thrifting like thrifting is something that i oh, more recently kind of like to do and i kind of decided to give you guys like sorry okay is that better so thrifting is something that i really like to do and i kind of wanted to give you guys like a like a video on like how i thrift because I'm not trying to say it's like the best way but i feel like it's the best way to get good stuff and to like have really good results so welcome to thrifting 101 um with your thrifting coach evelyn so the first thing that i always say is you kind of want to make a list so i'm going to put my list here um i can't really tell you right now because it's I don't know it off the top of my head and it's on my phone but make a list know exactly what you want to i'm looking in the camera and i don't know if i like it but okay yeah you definitely want to make a list you want to know exactly what you want to get so when you go in there you're not like caught up in like oh this could look good or oh if i fix this it could look like so and so because that kind of leads me to my next point unless you're like a seamstress or someone who's really good at sewing it's always good to get items that already fit that you know you don't have to do work on because i was in the beginning i was like oh this would look good if i just fixed the waist or whatever whatever but like you never fix the waist like you you never do it so um like for these levi pants for example when I got these pants, um, I thought I was gonna fix the waist. I never did, but like, they ended up cute. They're kind of low risey and cute. And uh, yeah. Another thing is you wanna dress comfortably. So this is what I'm wearing. Um, it's just like a tank top. And then my Levi's jeans, they're super baggy. You literally can't tell. And um, I'm gonna be wearing my new tennis shoes because I, I want to break the, these in. I kind of want them to look like super broken in. So yeah, so that's kind of what, you want to dress comfortably, you want to have your list, and you kind of want to get in your zone because I always, I always listen to music, I always keep one headphone in, one out, because when you're in public in general, I would never suggest having two headphones in. You always want to be aware of your surroundings, especially if you're going alone. Sketchy characters are everywhere. It doesn't matter where, what their store you're at, really where you are in general in public sketchy people are everywhere don't have both headphones in so yeah so you want to dress comfortably and the only reason why i say that is because i thrift like when i first started like i kind of wanted to get in and get out but like what my best friend taught me hi lucy if you're watching this like you can't really like get in and get out to get the really good stuff you have to like go through the entire store like every single rack like that's kind of just how you have to do it and especially if you're looking for specific things you have to go through like everything so when i first walk into the thrift store i always head towards the bags this is kind of like using myself into it so i always go for the bags and start there um, I have like a ton of my bags. I have to a ton of my bags. So that's pretty much, I don't really buy purses that much. I'm not much of a purse wearer. So like most of my bags come from the thrift. I kind of go through like bags and accessories and then I kind of go my um, way through the racks um, and figure out what I like and putting like anything that I like, anything that fits on my, list that i've set out for myself i'll put it in my cart like literally anything if it's remotely close to what i want or if it fits a description of something that i had on my list put it in the cart if you like it a little bit put it in the cart so by the time you're finished your cart is going to be huge do not buy like that big fat cart after that what i do is i kind of go through everything and um 
from there I'll put stuff back like I'm like oh well I already have one that kind of looks like this and I put it back so that way you know that you didn't leave anything behind you're like wait but I kind of like this like no everything that you have is something that you would want something that you would wear okay guys so I'm about to go if I think of more uh tips and stuff I I can say it I really don't think I'm gonna be filming inside the thrift store I'm just not ready I'll see you guys um on the other side i don't know if you can hear me because of the airpod but right now i'm in target that thrift store i went to this goodwill and i don't know about the goodwills where you live but most of the time they're better than that like i got no footage there is a ton of people in there i was way too scared to film i literally found two pairs of pants i'll show you them when i get home but i was not pleased like I was not pleased, but anyway. So yeah, so right now I'm in Target looking for a moisturizer because I'm trying to change up my skin routine a little bit so that I can show a new, hey, my brother's there in the corner. I don't know, I just wanted to change up my skin routine a little bit. Yeah, I feel like all my videos are gonna be vlogs. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but oh well, it's like thrifting vlog kind of. Anyway, I'll be back when I get home. Hey guys, so I'm back from Target. I've actually been back for a while. I ate dinner. I actually made dinner. I made pasta and um, I've been back for a while. I put my pairs of jeans into the washers. So like they're still, they still have some time to go. But I just wanted to do a little taste test. I got the blueberries first. The blueberries hit. Now I've got the strawberries here. I'm literally pretending like I haven't tried these, but I tried one with my mom. So I'm just gonna give you my impression and like what I think about them. They're good to me. Huh? I'm filming a video. I'm filming a video. Cause they're cold. Okay, so as you can hear, my mom thinks that they're nasty, but I think that they're good. It's just like, it's just they're so cold. Like, I know that's the whole point because they're frozen, but like, I don't know. I also, constructive criticism, I also think that because there's like white chocolate, I feel like the outside should be dark chocolate and not like white chocolate and milk chocolate. Do you have any constructive criticism? Mom? Do you? Nasty. Okay, well, she just thinks that they're nasty, but I would eat them again. I think they're good. Okay, thank you for making all the noise with the ice machine. <laughs> You're making so much noise. Can, can you just. Okay, okay. Okay, so I'll be back when my. <laughs> No, I mean, I'll be back when my jeans are out of the dryer. <laughs> so it's like kind of late right now, so um, whatever. But I have my jeans here and I'm about to try them on. I don't know how I can show you guys my full body, but I'll try. It's kind of late. I'm, to be honest, I'm kind of kind of tired, a little bit tired right now, but for the vlog. Um, try these on and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so you can kind of see, I like how these already kind of fit closer on my leg than the pants that I wore like throughout most of the day. They're like super, super long. Um, the first size that I had on were 34 by 32. These, I got these in the men's section. I actually get all my jeans in the men's section, but these are, these are nice. I like them. I like them a lot. I just had to cut the end. And this is like, these are now gonna be like, I don't really have a pair of black jeans that I like a lot. So these are like gonna be my go-to black jeans. Guys, one more thing I forgot to show you about these jeans is that on the booty, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a hole. 
Okay, now you can definitely see it. There's a hole, so I can sew that up. I know how to sew enough to fix a hole. Um, but yeah, but I was like, should I still get them? Yes, because they're like the perfect amount of baggy. But okay, so I'm about to try on these other pair of jeans and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm in the second pair of Levi's. These are 505s and um, these are 35 by 30. Um, they're a bit tighter than I thought they were going to be, but they're still cute. These fit closer on my waist. As you can see, there's no hole in the butt of these. And like the length is actually really good. Do I know anything about Levi jeans? No. Well, obviously I'm going to keep these. I don't think I'm going to wear them as much as I wear um, the Levi pants that I wore today. But those black pants are perfect. So yeah. Yeah, that's that's today's haul. I really hope I can go to the thrift store another time. But for right now, for right now, I'm going to go. I don't know if this is where the video ends because I want to go thrifting again, like, soon. Hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. It's day two of thrift vlogs, hashtag thrifting 101, hashtag I'm a mediocre thrifter. Um, also, something I did not say, you should follow me on my Instagram. Follow me on my Instagram. I changed my handle. It's now my full legal name, Evelyn Grace Logan. Smash that like button. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be going to the actual good thrift store. Um, the one that I actually know will have something good. But today, I'm going to go full thrifting mode. I honestly don't know because yesterday before i left for that terrible goodwill i kind of gave like a ton of tips and kind of like my strategy and like um how i approach thrifting but i don't know if that's what you know i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna i'm kind of gonna talk you guys through it also yesterday my experience with my pair of levi pants uh taught me that i know literally nothing about Levi's, how their size, the brand, the types, I know nothing. Yeah, so I am gonna go. I'm gonna go. Good morning, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm here. I'm about to go to the thrift store, I think. I'm not sure but we'll see and i literally i'm like filming this but i haven't i need to cut like the leg off of my jeans and the other pair of jeans that i got hopefully um i wasn't like too tired um the other jeans that i got yesterday they are like they didn't fit too well so i know you can't take anything back from the thrift store but i'll probably give those away or something like that but these black pants i'm literally i'm literally holding on to these black pants because they're really cute they're like slightly too big but i feel like i can figure out a way to shrink them or i'll just deal with it um which i'll probably just end up just dealing with it but yeah guys so i'm about to cut the ends and then i'll probably even i'll probably outfit change and i'll see you when i've done both of those things okay guys really quick before i go i did cut the jeans i literally only cut them a little bit but i still wanted it to have a kind of baggy look and i wanted it to be like baggy like over my sneakers because this is like how much i cut off it was like an inch or two maybe in some places it's super crooked but one thing that i kind of learned when i was doing it on the second leg is that if you make a cut um across like the hardest part like right here like this seam once you cut across this seam you can see i did it on this strap you can literally just rip the jean and it rips like horizontally it rips straight and it looks really good so you should definitely rip it instead of trying to like cut it straight across but yeah guys so i'm about to go and i guess i'll see you when i get back or maybe if it's not too crowded i'll foam in there but that's super unlikely Okay, bye! Let me do a little 
haul. So basically when I was in there, I kind of realized that I already have a lot of pants and that I didn't necessarily need pants. So I was more focused on like, well, I wanted to find overalls, but I was most focused on tops and I didn't find too many tops that were to my liking. But another thing that I had on my list were cowboy boots and I found cowboy boots that fit me. Um, these were ended up being $38.99, which I'm fine with because a lot of the other cowboy boots of this size and quality were like in the hundreds plus range. So I'm completely fine with that price. Okay, and then the second thing that I got was this really cute bowl. I love catch-all bowls like this. And um, I don't know, like whenever I see one that's unique that I don't have one that's kind of close to, I get it. So I got this and I think it's it's like this pinky rosiest color, I don't know. And then um, another, two things that I'm excited about. I got one white, like, oopsie, like slip dress that I need to wash. I don't know how I'm gonna clean the boots, but I can figure that out. And then I got this, another like slippy kind of dress, but in red. And then the final thing, another thing that I'm super excited about is I got this camera. You're like, Evelyn, what is that? This is a film camera. I don't have any of these, so I'm super excited because um, I looked it up super briefly in the store to figure out if it was good or not. And people still use it today. And I'm pretty sure that they even sell it at Walmart. Um, so. I will update you guys on that. But other than that, this was such a successful thrift trip. Um, do I have any tips? Okay guys, so I'm about to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on my Instagram. Keep watching all the rest of my videos. Don't stop now. Watch them all. And I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.